doomed prisoners. It ain't too late. Down on your knees as you face your awful fate. Repent your crimes before that trap is sprung. And you, like a side of beef, are hung. Poor soul. If and you come up close and scooch again the bars, you could kind of rest your poor head on my shoulder. It ain't fair hanging men when there ain't enough to go round as it is. If and you don't mind, I'd like to finish my little tribute whilst there's time. Um, uh, Ma'am, uh, did you have many more of those? No, just ten or twelve more verses. Well, I didn't have enough time to do a real good job on it. That's a shame. Now your poke is spent, and you can take my word. We'll remember the gent that went riding herd, a fighting and shooting like desert rats, to come to their end in Kiowa Flats. Now toll the bell, their souls are fled. There'll be much more of this, horse. Shh. Them two poor boys are hanging dead. Somewhere their kinfolk will weep and pray. This is worse than hanging. For them that got heisted up today. Did you really like it? Ma'am, I thought he was prime. Just prime. Well, it ain't often I get a chance to recite my tribute to the dear departed before they're departed. No, ma'am, I don't reckon you do. I suppose you'd like to have it buried with you. Most folks do. Oh, Clara Lou, stop that noise. I can't help it. There ain't enough men to go around, and here they go wasting two at the same time. Amen. It's a woman's place to endure, Clara Lou. Well, I don't mind enduring if I got a man to put up with. Speaking of which, Lizabelle, I notice you've been hanging on to a certain hand half the live long night. Clara Lou Kinsey. Well, I can't help it. She's just a selfish thing, that's all she is. Well, I never. I guess a certain person can hold another person's hand if they choose. Well, a certain person didn't have to choose the way another certain person grabbed onto it. I wouldn't act like such a huzzy if I was you, Clara Lou Kinsey. Well, at least I ain't a flipperty gibbet, like some Lizabelle Jones. <laughs> from them pesky females, boys, and get a move on. We're busting you out. Well, who are you? Alonzo McFadden, you dang fool, the one that hired you. Well, come on. Alonzo oh. McFadden! I want you to meet my friends, my good friends, Big Jack and Shorty Jim Slade. Boys say howdy, my wife Wheezy and my daughter Amanda. Howdy, ma'am, howdy. Mr. McFadden, you're making a terrible mistake. You see, we ain't really there. Never mind that now, we'll talk in the morning. Hey, but look, M Mr. McFadden, we're not... The duration, how you boys go on and on. Dad burn it, Mr. McFadden, we ain't the Slade boys. You ain't? No, we ain't. That's what we've been trying to tell you all the way in from town. Look, we're, we're the cart, right? What's the matter? You scared? No, we ain't scared. And, and we do appreciate you busting us out of that jail, Mr. Mike Fadden. That, Bernard, if it'd make you feel any better, I almost wish we was the slave boys, but we just ain't. Say, so if, if you don't mind, we'll, we'll just mosey on back. Bye, ma'am. <laughs> One side don't believe us, and then the other. Yep. We got ourselves in the middle of something, and I don't like it. Yeah, that's for sure. Oh, boy. What do you think we ought to do about it? Well, I'll tell you, little Joe. I done been hauled up, hauled down, threatened with a hanging, and thrown in jail, and busted out of jail, and poetized at, and shot at, and reared halfway across the state of Texas in the dark. I'm going to get some sleep. I don't know what you're going to do.
Who are you? Turn him around, Little Joe. Yeah. I thought I'd recognize that patch. You wouldn't be Black Alonzo, the red-handed Avenger, would you? I was gonna bust you out. Only Pa and the boys got there first. Yeah, well, just how was you figuring on busting us out? Figured to dig a tunnel. That's a good way to bust out of dungeons. Mm. Yeah, you, uh... You're pretty well posted on things, ain't you, fella? You just bet I am. I'll bet you even know what we're doing here, don't you? Shucks, half the country knows Pa hired you to kill Ann's Hadfield. And, uh, just why are we supposed to kill Ann's Hadfield? He's the fastest gun around here, ain't he? None of us McFadden's can hold a candle to him. We gotta get rid of him before we can kill the rest of the Hadfields. Well, how come you gotta kill all them Hadfield? Don't you fellas know anything? It's a feud. He's kinda dumb, ain't he? <laughs> Why, you little... You just touch me and I'll holler for... Uh, Black Alonzo, you tell your Paul that we hate to leave like mm. this, but we just ain't the Slade Brothers, you hear? You thank him for busting us out of jail, all right? Go collect the bodies. Hey, Slade boys, on your feet. Look, we're not just. Never mind. 